Tedun Ofuji has come under fire for concocting the eight-minute chest-lending ordeal, which caused Tobizaru to collapse twice from dehydration just after it finished. But amid the hysterical tabloid headlines, the broader sumo consensus is that the Yokozuna should not be scapegoated. Firstly, there are coaches at ringside who have the power to cut short charging sessions at any point, and sometimes do. Final responsibility for this incident must lie with them. Secondly, Tobizaru, who is now okay by the way, knew this was coming at some point. It's unofficial custom, shall we say, for the Yokozuna to single out, on the very next tour, a Maegashira who recently beat him. Remember this time last year? Thirdly, these punishing sessions are not out of keeping with the rest of the tour. We've seen some of Takayasu's treatment of Shishi last week. And here, on the very same dohyo, are the last four minutes of what Kirishima did to breakout fighter Shonan no Umi.
That's why Shaunan's dad was so horribly strict when preparing his son for the rigors of pro sumo. Under Kakudyu's chairmanship, the wrestlers' committee voiced concerns over hotter summers, hence the tour no longer takes in older arenas with suspect air conditioning. Given that wrestlers tend to have trouble knowing their limits in the heat of activity, it might be good for tour managers to set five-minute cutoffs on any charging practice routine. But I leave you with the view of the ex Kotokan Tetsu, who yesterday tweeted, Don't ask me to call people out, as I wasn't even there. So for many others who weren't there, and have no knowledge of arena conditions, to simply lay into the Yokozuna is simply not on.